Hey everybody and Merry Christmas! Today we got a brand new vehicle in Lumber Tycoon 2, unboxed from the Gift of Snow which is available at Box Cars. Opening up the gift gives you a snowmobile. And I actually made this vehicle and it was super fun and I hope all of you guys enjoy this gift as much as I do. Anyways, in this video I'll just be giving you a rundown of everything a snowmobile can do and some tips and tricks to maneuvering it around the map. Starting with the basics, we can see that the snowmobile is very different from any other vehicle in Lumber Tycoon 2. First of all, it only has one seat, and that seat is reserved for the driver of the vehicle. Also, instead of wheels, the snowmobile has two tracks in the front which turn just like wheels. And the snowmobile also has a light just like all other vehicles. Something that's very unique to the snowmobile is that it can actually be picked up like other loose objects. I will explain the importance of this later in the video. The next and coolest feature of the snowmobile is its speed. On non-snowing materials like regular grass or roads, the snowmobile goes at a decent speed, just a bit slower than the Vols all-purpose hauler. However, once it gets on snow, its speed skyrockets, making it the fastest vehicle ever. The snow includes the snow in the Taiga, the snowy map in the mainland, and even the snow scattered around the Taiga Mountains. Now let's get on to the reason why the snowmobile is grabbable, and the simplest explanation is that it falls over quite frequently. So in the event that it does, all you have to do is grab it and then turn it back onto its side. The snowmobile also likes to climb up trees if you run into one, so there's that too. But perhaps the main reason why the snowmobile is grabbable is so that you can put it inside of your trucks. This means that once the snowy map is gone, you can easily transport to and from the Tega. Another really weird and fun quirk with the snowmobile is that it can turn into a jet ski when you run it into the water. I'm glad this wasn't patched. If you haven't noticed already, the snowmobile turns very slowly, making it very hard if not impossible to make quick turns. However, there is a unique way around this called backing. If I want to do a 180 degree turn around this point, I have to go this far before completing the maneuver. However, with backing, all I'd have to do is this tiny little turn. This is because the front of the snowmobile is more slippery than the back of it, making turning on the back end much easier. By holding down S and an arrow key, the vehicle will immediately start turning to one direction before friction takes over and does the rest for you. Anyways, that is all you need to know about the snowmobile in Lumber Tycoon 2. For information on the rest of the gifts this year, check out my yearly unboxing video, link down below and on the end screen right now. This is gonna be it for me, goodbye!